That's when we were pushing and he's like, he let off and like went back and forth. Right whenever we went up over there. When it, you know when it lifted up and kind of went sideways around you guys? The next lap it didn't do it at all. No. You know, going down there and getting the confidence of knowing what the truck's gonna do, going down the rough stuff with San Felipe. You go to Plaza City and you do the same loop every time you go down there and everyone does the same loop. You get faster because you know the loop so well. But when you go to San Felipe and you just kind of just say, let's just go drive Puerto Cidas Road or Zoo Road, then things come up quicker and then you can really see what the truck's going to do in kind of unexpected situations. What was cool about testing in San Felipe is we go down there and we pre-run a lot, but we're in the pre-run trucks. So you're, you're cruising through all these things and you come into ditches and, and all these different places. You mark your notes and then on race day, you haven't run the race truck through there yet. But when you get to, to those areas with the big holes or the big ditches on race day, it's like, it's not really worth risking the trophy truck, you know, to, to send it through a ditch or whatnot. And that was what was kind of cool about testing in San Felipe. You know, the truck's getting the full prep, so I wasn't worried about hurting the truck, but really, you know, the, the areas that we always race in, K159 bumps, the Zoo Road bumps, Portacitas Road, um, all four of the main washes, we got in those areas and really just kind of opened it up to see how fast the truck could go. radio he had full tree like stuck in the grill so maybe i wasn't pushing that hard <laughs> today we're gonna go uh run some washes some more fun san felipe washes which is cool because you know we get to see them in the pre-runners but um, only on race day do we get to see them in the race trucks at race speed so today we're gonna go run some of those washes Or when it would fall in, it would fall in and kind of like almost pull them out of the berm. And it would wallow. Yes. Do this. Where now it's, but I'm thinking maybe the old springs it's doing this, it's, it's riding similar to this, but he has way more confidence. Like I'd rather kind of get beat up a little bit for him to be able to just. But I wouldn't put the heavier bar on with those springs. We're, no. we're heavy enough. We'd have to change springs. San Felipe was good, put a lot of miles on the 23 on the all-wheel drive and nice to go down there and put miles on the trucks. Really get more comfortable with the truck down there on those roads and the terrain and you know, we have a new X-Track 5-speed in the all-wheel drive which is incredibly fast so trying to go down there and test and see what fails and what doesn't fail and come back here and improve it and go race and win. It was jolty. It felt jolty, so it could be less jolty. Uh, no, no, jolty. No, no, no. Yeah. One 
thing we did learn while testing down in San Felipe. Dan and I would run small loops, kind of tune suspension, we'd go out for a big loop. I'd chase him, he'd chase me and stuff. To be perfectly honest, I'm a little bit nervous of what I saw out there because Dan's really quick in that all-wheel drive. With the X-Track, it's just, it's keeping the RPM right in the right range. Not even out of the hole, but just through the corner and stuff, you can kind of hold the inside and then you're just accelerating out, just tractoring where you want to be. Where the two-wheel drive, you're kind of floating sideways, kind of controlling the wheel spin, trying to get forward momentum, but it just never seems like there's enough there to go, whereas the all-wheel drive, you know, it's like, yeah, he's, he's holding the inside of the turn and then it's gone. And uh, we were able to overlay the data quite a bit. That was another big part of our off-season was comparing the two-wheel drive versus all-wheel drive, where which truck is faster, and trying to understand why, not just, well, yeah, the all-wheel drive's a new thing, it's faster. Well, I'm excited to have a full season of racing. It sounds like we're gonna have all four Baja races. I think this year is gonna be a pretty successful year for our team. We had a great year last year. But for me, I think winning is gonna be the most exciting part for this year, what I'm looking forward to the most. All the testing we've done and all the success we've had already with the all-wheel drive coming into this coming year, I think winning is gonna be the